There's one, I think we have time for one more question and then we'll have our closing statements. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Pat Clausen. I'm from Flint, Michigan. I'm a former CNN and NBC national correspondent out of Washington, D.C. I've heard a lot here about media. It takes a lot more than media to make a political party work. I'd like to know from each of you gentlemen three specific things that you will do to resuscitate this party and to establish it as a major force in American politics that have nothing to do with me. <coughs> want me to go first? Who's going first here? Go ahead, Wayne. No. All right. Listen. No, it's fine. They, want me to go. they want me to go first, Wayne. Okay. All right. <coughs> I tell you the first thing. The, the, only, I, the main thing, the only thing that I know how to do really well, and this is what happens. Return the power to the individual activist. Let me tell you what happens. National comes up and they say, we rule from on high. It comes from you know, uh, the LNC. And what Wayne wants to do is it goes even more focused on the chair. Then it comes down to LNC. They go down to the affiliate, go to the county, go to the candidates. Never. Do I ever hear, it's not even mentioned, to the individual. The reason we are so successful at Freedom's Phoenix Workshop and all the stuff that we do, and the Ron Paul Revolution was just one of dozens of actions I've done over the years, and there's been many since then. The reason we are successful is because we are of service to the individual activist. The answer is always yes. You have people come to you, they got all their you should. You know what you should do, you should do, you should do. No, 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 no. I will help you do whatever it is you want to do. I will be of assistance to you. I will make sure you get to have your say. Go, go. What, what do you need? You need, you need uh, access to artwork, logo, database? Do you need uh, uh, a party that will not stab you in the back while you're out there advocating hardcore on something? All of a sudden, you got to deal with national that kind of went out on the issue a little bit and undercut you. That happens all the time. It happened to me for decades. That's why I'm doing this. While I'm out there advocating for freedom, I do not have the time or the effort to be making excuses for a national party that kind of whips out on the issue. I'm sick of it. And that's why St. Louis is so important. It is extremely important that in St. Louis, we make a very clear decision in convention by libertarians that say to the world, this love illusion, the campaign for liberty, these libertarians across the planet, this one it was not just America, it's across the planet. These young minds directly communicate with each other using Google Translator, Chinese to English to J Japanese, like this. This is happening not later, it's right now. It's already well done. And what do we do? Are we going to support that? Are we going to undercut it every time we get a hard question from a CNN reporter, a Fox News guy? Do you really mean? Yes, we do. It is the individual activist everywhere, not in just this country, everywhere that's going to do this. And in St. Louis, we need to know one thing. Those of us that are freedom fighters for a long time, no compromise, no evolution, we need to know one thing. Is the Libertarian Party in this evolution, or is it not? Either way, it's going to happen regardless. I guarantee you that. It's whether the Libertarian Party is going to be part of it or not. That's what we'll know. Okay, wait. Three yeah, my answer is several things. First of all, media is only one part of the equation, but don't kid yourself. I think it was Pat. Pat asked the question. Yes. Don't kid yourself, Pat. Media is very important. Look at England, where Nick Clegg was an electric, dynamic, telegenic, photogenic, charismatic guy, and he got in the debates, and suddenly his party now shares power with the Prime Minister of England. Nick Clegg is basically the Vice Prime Minister of England because of the way he handled himself on TV in a debate, even though before that debate, he had almost zero support and almost zero seats in Parliament. Now, is that a rare one-time instance? No, it's not. At this very moment in Germany, there's basically a libertarian party in Germany. How do I know? They're the anti-tax, pro-business, anti-big government party, and they were always considered a joke. And then a guy became their leader who was an entertainer, much like me. I've spent my life on television. And he's an entertainer who gained fame by starring in Big Brother in Germany. Now that's a joke, right? Except guess what? He wound up coming in third in the race, and the 
woman, Angela Merkel, who became Prime Minister of Germany, needed his party's votes to uh, form a coalition, and he became the Vice Chancellor of Germany. He's today their vision, their version of uh, Joe Biden. He's the Vice President of Germany, and he's a former star of Big Brother. Don't kid yourself. We don't raise a lot of money because we're anti-big government, we're anti-big union, and we're anti-big corporation, and we're anti-lobbyist. And the result of that is you need the equivalent of money, which is free media. Now, the next point is, you're right, though, media isn't everything. You can't win an election on media alone. You win it on organization. That's why I'm running as a co-chair with Mark Rutherford. Many of you, I hope, know Mark Rutherford as the, I believe, for eight years, he was chairman of uh, Indiana's Libertarian Party. I believe for seven or eight years, he was on the LNC, and he's one of the most pragmatic libertarians, but unlike me, who is a bit of a right-leaning libertarian, he, a right-center libertarian, he's a left-center libertarian. And he believes very strongly that we need to outreach to everyone on the right and the left. And I'm going to be the guy who goes in the media, and he's going to be the guy who oversees the day-to-day -day operations of the Libertarian Party in Washington, D.C. He's an attorney. He's the uh, chairman of several boards in Indiana and the chairman of several political PACs that have had great success. He's a real leader. And uh, most importantly, he's going to be my liaison to state leaders and county leaders all over the United States. This party's never had that. So we're going to form a co-chairmanship, much like Nick Clegg and the new leader of England and Angela Merkel and the new vice chairman of Germany. And Mark Rutherford is a great choice. I hope you'll vote for both of us. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne, and thank you, uh, Ernie, for taking our questions. We appreciate it. And now we have 30, uh, the three-minute wrap-up speech. And Wayne, you get to go first. Sure. You know, I've given this example all over the United States, and I know it struck home because I get emails about it five, six times a week. And if you know anything about uh, some of the biggest businesses in America, whether it be, you know, the, the uh, IBMs or the Microsoft or the Procter Gambles, if you get five or six letters a week, you count that as 50 or 60,000 letters a week. It's represent, uh, representative of a lot of people. I tell the story of the fact that in the history of the restaurant business in the United States, the worst selling fish ever was grouper. The name is just not an attractive name, and nobody bought grouper. So the seafood industry got together with the restaurant industry, and they changed the name to Chilean sea bass. And do you know that Chilean sea bass is the most successful dish ever sold in restaurants in history? And it's the same fish as grouper. Nothing about this changed from the way it looks to the taste. It's just the marketing. And what this party has lacked for 39 years is some idea of how you sell, how you market, how you brand, how you promote, and most importantly, Americans love energy. We need a CEO who is our national leader who's got energy. And I believe I bring all of that to the table. My life's about sales, marketing, branding, and promotion. And I believe the Republican and Democratic parties have crappy products that are sold well, marketed well, promoted well, and branded well, and they have brainwashed America with an inferior product to ours. We have the greatest product in the world, and it's been sold, branded, promoted, and every single way you can imagine, it's been marketed in a lousy, inferior way. And from now on, with the right branding and marketing and promotion, we are gonna compete with Republicans and Democrats. How do I know? How do you know I'm not just blowing smoke here? Uh, 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 keep part of people. The Tea Party has already done exactly what we should be doing, which is promoting sm smaller government. Whoa, hello? Yep. There we go. Promoting smaller government, limited government, follow the Constitution. Now, are they the real thing? I don't know. I don't think so, and I don't know so for sure, but I know we're the real thing, and so we owe it to ourselves to brand and market and promote just as good as the Republicans, the Democrats, and the Tea Party, and we owe it to ourselves to start winning elections.